Hey everybody, what's up? This is the LED682 and I'm Professor Snipe. Now to dive in, we'll start out with some history and some facts. The LED682 is a member of the SA80 family of British small arms. It is manufactured by BAE Systems and Heckler and & Koch. In Battlefield Play for Free, the LED682 is a rank 28 weapon available to the medic class. The way the weapon looks is extremely similar to the LED582. In fact, they perform very similarly as well. The design of the weapon seems to be a little bit bulky, which is to be expected from a machine gun. The colors are grey and light brown, which is refreshing to see that they added extra colors rather than just that black and grey. The sound the gun makes while firing is unique, I like it. The iron sights of this weapon are pretty good in my opinion, I used them many times and I enjoyed them a lot. The stock weapon comes with 34 bullets per magazine, which is really low for the medic class but you do get a relatively high amount of magazines, which would be 5 mags, and that totals up to 170 bullets. The reload time is on the fast side, clocking in at 4.45 seconds, which is even faster than the FAMAS reload time. The projectile velocity is at 675, once again on the high side, which is really good for engaging vehicle pilots and drivers. The rate of fire is at the slow side, which is 473 rounds per minute. The damage is a bit average, not the most impressive stats, but the range is something better. As you can tell by the table, the range is extremely good. The 0 to 30 meters for close range is pretty impressive, and so are the other ranges. The deviation and recoil is an aspect I will not talk highly of, simply because it's clunky, it kicks, and is hard to control. Out of all the weapons I've ever used in this game, this is one of the hardest to control and hardest to get used to. I don't know what it is, but this thing takes a lot of time to control and get comfortable with. The more logical explanation must be that this weapon has a significant kick to it, it's an upwards right recoil pattern, but combined with a not so great deviation, your bullets will seem not to hit your target. You'll be aiming at him, but the bullets will go around him. That's what really sucks about this gun. The hipfire is also debatable. I've asked some people, they said they liked it, but some said they hated it. Personally, I have mixed feelings about it too. What I don't like is that it's very unreliable. Out of 5 engagements, you'll win 1, and you don't really have time to make calculations on the battlefield, so my advice don't use hipfire unless you're 110% sure it's going to kill and you have a clear advantage. What I like about the hipfire is that it's very rewarding and it kills nicely. Out of those 5 engagements, that one gunfight you'll win with it feels really nice. Now for some tips following hipfire, I know this might sound obvious but really try to push your mouse down left to counter the recoil, it really does help. So overall, if you're going to hipfire, make sure to crouch and pull down your mouse down left. When using this gun, crouching is obviously the best, but you will have to learn to tap fire. The deviation on this gun is so bad that even going full auto or even burst fire is a waste of time. Remember, this gun has 34 bullets only. You don't have time and bullets to waste. You better make those shots count, so you will need to tap fire. For attachments, I would go for Viper Mags because you'll want extra damage since not all of your bullets will be hitting, and when they do, you'll need them to hit hard. Additionally, you do get 24 extra bullets, which drastically helps the LA682's ammo count. For barrel, I'd go for the standoff barrel. I just feel like the projectile velocity is high enough so it needs no buff, and increasing damage at medium to long range is good. The best stocks I performed with were the tactical, stabilized, and balanced stock, but I felt like the tactical was the best. The sight is your choice, since it comes to preference, but both hollow and red dots work really well, and with crazy tap fire and patience, the M145 works well despite its size and screen blockage. This gun is playable on all maps, but I would suggest sticking to medium range, so places like Oman, Mash Tour, and other medium range engagements work great. The reason is that this weapon is too slow for close range, but not that accurate for long range, so medium is the best option. I see passive and reserve players using this weapon, as it's not the best for rushing and going full auto. For my final rating, I'll give this weapon a score of 7 out of 10. This weapon definitely is not the best when it comes to stats, and when put in action, it is still difficult to use. The more experienced players will enjoy this weapon as it brings a refreshing challenge, but less skilled players will find it hard to use. It's a lower rating for a weapon that does not deserve to be called a rank 28 unlock. This weapon is definitely one of the hardest guns to get used to because of its bulb up behavior on an LMG form. It's a big gun, it's slow, not that much ammo, has some pretty bad deviation, but if you're gonna buy this thing, put in hours of practice because after all of that, it will start paying off. With that being said, this concludes this weapon review and commentary guys. Thanks for watching all and I'll see you guys next time.